We welcome our viewers in Nigeria and around the world to Channel Television Live Event in partnership with FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange, Nigeria's newest exchange where debt instruments and derivatives are traded. We're here to launch a ticker tape service on Nigeria's news leader. And we will start for the next one hour. We'll be taking you through the unveiling of these very important market trading services that has been offered for the first time to viewers in Nigeria and around the world on channels television. I am Bosun Namofaya and I have the pleasure of welcoming everyone who will be watching this live event over the next 60 minutes. So let's get started. We'll be looking at a number of issues surrounding the Nigerian market and we have a few speeches to be made. And of course a presentation about what the FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange is all about. Then in about 30 minutes time, you'll have the opportunity for the first time to see the trading activities of the Nigeria's bond, treasury bills, currencies, and other derivatives stream across your TV screen wherever you're watching channels television in Nigeria and around the world. This is a new beginning and something you'll be proud of. I welcome everyone. Now let's get the program started. And I'm inviting Kaudi Ugoji of FMDQ OTC Securities to tell us what follows from here. Kaudi, welcome to the program. Thank Good morning. You, Good morning, boss. Thank you. Let me hand over this to you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody, and you're very welcome um, to this um, extraordinary occasion today as we launch the FMDQ Price ticker tape on channels television. Um, as Boston has mentioned, we intend to take you through an hour of activities, basically talking about the markets and, and telling you more about FMDQ and what FMDQ um, has, what FMDQ, FMDQ's contributions, excuse me, to the market. Um, we're also telling you why this partnership with Channel TV is extremely important to the Nigerian financial markets. Um, at this point, I would like to start by introducing um, our extremely important guest. We're all important in here, but we have um, a few people that we would like to acknowledge. Um, I'd like to start um, by welcoming the chairman, CEO, Channels Media Group, Mr. John Momo, O-N, to the FMD QTC Securities Exchange. You're welcome, sir. Um, I would also like to welcome from Channels TV, Mr. Steve Judo, the General Manager Special Duties. You're welcome, sir. Um, we have the MD CEO of FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange, Mr. Bola Onodele Koko, also here with us. And it's an extreme pleasure to have a representative from the Central Bank of Nigeria, a director of the Financial Markets Department, Mr. Emmanuel Ukeje, with us today. You're very welcome, sir. We also have a few others that I will just quickly run through. Um, we have Mr. Kayode Akintemi, General Manager Operations. Um, Mr. Patrick Obuse, Assistant General Manager, all of Channels TV. Mr. Boston Omofaye, who has introduced himself, Head Business News. Ms. Ijoma Oyato, the News Anchor. Ms. Harriet Agbeniyi. Agben Yi, Assistant Senior Presenter, Business News. Mr. Temple Asaju, Producer, Business News. Ms. Adesua Josh, News Anchor. And Mr. Ezenwa Opara, PA to the Executive Chairman. You're all welcome. And we have a few of FMDQ management staff that I would introduce as well. We have Ms. Mrs. Shola Olufoshoye. Um, who is the assistant vice president in charge of um, um, control and audits, and we have our assistant vice president, market development and regulation. So you're all welcome. Everybody else, we have the press, newspaper, um, newspaper um, media. You're all very welcome to this occasion. Please just sit back and relax as we have a, a, a good one hour together. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Kaudi. Uh, of course, we are live on channels, television, and of course, business morning hour, you know that is 10 o'clock to 11. So that means that every day uh, you will be able to see the 
uh, displayed ticker tape of the market's trading statistics uh, on this particular programming that is now running at this particular time. That will be the flag of point every business day uh, or every trading day. I'd rather use that expression, every trading day. Uh, I'm at a securities exchange, so trading is the word. Uh, Mr. Bolleon, I'm sure I'm right. Yes, the trading day. Okay, let's welcome Mr. Bola Onodele Koko, who is the Managing Director, Chief Executive of the FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange, to give us his welcome address. Thank you very much, Bosa. Um, <clears throat> as you mentioned earlier, this is a game-changing activity going on in Nigeria today, and is as historic as 1867, when the ticker tape itself um, was invented and first used on the Nigerian and the New York Stock Exchange in 1872. Um, the role of technology is known, and we've seen how this is impacted widely all over the world, and especially the financial markets. And in 1959, October 31, precisely, uh, Chief Obafemi Awolowo launched the first TV station in, in Africa, in Nigeria, and also in Africa. As a kid, we listened to the chairman of TV channels, Mr. John Mama, O.N., um, reading the NTA news so many times. The partnership between the Securities Exchange and the TV station was one that we desired and we thought through so many months in FMDQ when we started. And we were quite clear as to the quality of the sort of TV station we wanted to partner with. Uh, this took us some time to activate, but we were never in doubt with the station that we wanted to partner with, and hence the channel's TV station. Um, it was important for us to pick channels because one channel has a reach of over 20 million viewers and also international coverage. And FMDQ activities, as you're aware, uh, West local also very soon would have international connections. Channels was also and also been taken and voted and awarded best television service in Nigeria of the year ten times in a row from 2000 to 2014. In terms of coverage. There's hardly any part of human endeavor that is not covered by channels, business, politics, and entertainment. And for many months in FMDQ, we watched the coverage of business by channels, and we're very confident that channels is the station to partner with. We're happy with this partnership, and we believe it's going to grow stronger. We're starting with the ticker tape, but we believe over time we will extend this beyond the ticker tape. Today, we're starting with the fixings, the NIBOR, the NIFEX, and NITI. We look at the intraday bonds and T-bills, and also the benchmark bonds and T-bills. And the closing prices, which we believe will become of high significance in this country. And as Boson said before, and earlier mentioned, um, this will be a changing moment for investors in Nigeria, who before now hardly saw anything about prices on this side of the market, the fixed income market. So this is game changing and also we're witnessing unprecedented media coverage of financial markets. The enhancement that we believe this will bring to the Nigerian market will be commentaries on previous day's prices, expectations for the day at some midpoint, commentary on forecast, commentary on day's activities and snapshots. And on Saturday, most people have witnessed Channel's capital market news and commentaries. We believe this will be extended beyond the equity market to the debt capital market. We must thank Channel's because um, sometime last year, the governor of Central Bank wanted the currency rates to be broadcast all over Nigeria for everyone to see. And before we could even reach Channel's to finalize this communication, the chairman and the management of channels had accepted the request from the governor directly, and this started sometime last year. On Saturday, we also like to see discussions on the monthly turnover and other market important events. 
Of course, we appreciate the importance of debt capital market, especially now in the history of Nigeria when we're talking of fiscal deficit. But beyond that, this is going to be a great platform for capital transfer between lenders of money, surplus money, and agencies in Nigeria that request this money for the development of the country. In my closing remarks, I'd like to say that all of us in FMDQ are excited with this collaboration. We believe this collaboration will change the landscape in financial markets in Nigeria. We believe that with the reach of Channels TV, as FMDQ integrates the domestic markets in Nigeria with the international markets, TV channels will be there as a partner all through to ensure this is done seamlessly. We welcome you and thank channels for this capital market price transparency. And again, we take this as an iconic event in the history of financial markets in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Bola Onodele Koko, the Managing Director and Chief Executive of FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange. And of course, this epoch-making event